Hello YouTube. Today we're going to be taking a look at the mechanism of the RL minx, or Rula minx, and comparing it to a standard Mega minx. So, these two puzzles are equivalent. We have centers here, centers here, but some people have a hard time getting that, so I'm just going to take apart one layer of a Mega Minx first. See, pretty standard. We all know what inside of a Mega Minx looks like. We've got our corners and edges. Now, the RL Minx was made out of a Xing Shao, and uh, yeah, it's good enough. And this was, er, sorry, the RL Minx was made out of a QJ, and I'm comparing it to a Xing Shao. Yeah. So, take apart a layer here. see the inside here now a little better. Uh, the center piece is just built up a little bit with epoxy sculpt all like that. It has a little tilt to it. That just points to these and then you can see here the uh, you can see the faint or maybe not so faint extending line here of the original puzzle. You can kind of see it on that piece uh, where it was extended. And then these are all centers. Uh, comparing different kinds of corners here, so there's one corner, here's another corner. Just kind of an offset, and there's also a mirror of that kind of corner, which is not that. I uh, guess there was these two, but they the same. A uh, tiny little corner, so these two, same thing. But even more dramatic is this is a corner, and this is a corner. So quite a big difference in between pieces, even though they're the same. Uh, taking a look at edges here, this is one kind of edge. This is flatter, has a much bigger sticker on it, but a lot thinner. Here we have a much wider, two little triangles here. You can see the extending a little bit. But anyways, let's keep disassembling. Might as well take this hole apart. Got to re-sticker this thing. It's been a little while uh, of bringing it to competitions and such. And the core looks pretty cool when it's all disassembled. Looking at the inside here, you can really, yeah. Figured I didn't show the mechanism in my original video, and I don't think there is any videos of the mechanism of an RL mix out there. Uh, but it's pretty close to the Hexaminx in, in a lot of ways. Alright, so here's the core. Very interesting core. We can, like, if I can get one of these caps off, they're a little hard to grip because they were kind of sanded flush. And I don't remember, but I might... I don't think I have super glued these on. Yeah, they're not coming off. They've been on for like a year, and I guess they've just kind of stuck on. But yeah, you can really uh, see how three centers here combined to make one face. Like that. And then other three centers combined, and then they make a face, and you can kind of see the pillowing here, how that, how that works. And then, yeah, uh, let's find some mirrors. We have... Two different kinds, or maybe just one kind, I can't remember. I guess, yeah, one kind of edge here like this. I guess this was a mirror. And it's kind of weird because it looks a little unsymmetrical. Like it has this uh, kind of a dip here, and then there's a triangle. And you think there's some kind of mirror, but yeah, now that I'm looking, I kind of thought there was, but no, they're all the same. They all have the dip going one way which is kind of an interesting feature, and with Trifem's versions of the uh, RL Minx, and I didn't do this on purpose, but it just happened that way, his dips go the other way. So the, the puzzle, when you make it, could have a symmetry where it goes this way, or all the pieces go the other way. So when I made it, just by chance, I wasn't really looking exactly what I was... Like, I had a hard enough time kind of aligning and thinking of centers in this way, and I didn't notice that I wasn't doing it the exact same, which I'm completely fine with. 
But yeah, his pieces would be a mirror of this, and then everything else would be a little different. A quick comparison here, we have what I like to call wider edge. Uh, they have thinner triangles and it's symmetrical, so it's the same like this, like this. And then you have a different kind, which is more like this, where it has a much wider uh, gap in between. It has one tiny triangle and one bigger triangle. So that's, uh, yeah, that's that. So that's the mechanism of the RL Minx, kind of compared a little bit with the Mega Minx. I think we kind of know. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know why I took it apart. Uh, but anyways, uh, anyways, that's the RO Minx Mega Minx, uh, mechanism. I was hoping to do a. Uh, I'm doing this other project, I guess, and I'm trying to. I was, I was really close to getting it today, but I'm trying to uh, memorize a scramble for a cube blind. So something you know, you scramble it, and then. You memorize the um, the solution to the scramble and also the scramble, and then you scramble it up basically again, and you find a and then you you know blindfold solve it. And while you're still blindfolded, uh, you then you can, you can spin it around because it has to be solved obviously. So you spin it around and then you just apply the scramble and then apply your own solution which you haven't tested. So that means you have to do a two out of two multi blind to get this to work plus the execution of the scramble properly and it's uh, quite difficult because you can't tell which scramble you messed up if there's like flipped edges or something so anyways uh, enough with that thank you for watching